Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Go ahead. Blessums. Blessums. You remember, you know. Remember what what our, are you doing? I'm I'm making fun of our friends. First of all, this cool shirt has a hood. Well, I was going to say it's not a shirt if it has a hood, right? No, it's a shirt. Well, no, it has a hood. Or just a thin, a thin sweater. Did you get that in like a subscription pack? I didn't. I got it from my friend Joe. Uh... I have two yeah. friends, Joe. Wow. You son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, Joe Reiser. He's a, he, he has like a workout. Is that the kid who lifts weights and has Real a gun? Muscle. Yes. He's the one that with the Desert Eagle that he takes pictures of. Oh. Where he's like. He doesn't take a picture like that. <laughs> no, no, no. Like he's praying? Like he, like he has the gun like here and he's taking a picture like he's the poster of Wanted. What is going on? I, uh, he's, a, he's very muscular. He's a big muscly boy. Right. Uh. Might be overcompensating for something. I else. would say I was. I, I didn't want to say. I, it. Listen, he's got real cool shirts. He's a real nice guy. Listen, does live in Florida. What does that mean? Uh, living what? in Florida with a Desert Eagle. Well, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah, no. You know, from Jersey. I don't know if that helps or what. Oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> I think it's a good thing. Of course you do. Uh, but he's from like the like you know the good parts. The De- bad parts. depends on how you define good. Well, I don't like the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, he's fucking. Th- th- I love this shirt. I, you know, I'm a big horror movie fan. So. That's, a, that's a Jason. Just shirt. a muscular Jason Voorhees, but yeah. the hood on it. Is that through his head, or is he just like winding it up? I think he's like getting ready to hit you. Oh, nice. like like one of these. I would never. Could you think you could stab someone? Yeah, I, like if it like I could shoot someone way before I could stab them. Oh, that's tough. I would stab them in their sleep. I would. I don't know if I would be able to deal with them awake. You know, just like cover their eyes. Hey, Frank. You stab someone in their sleep, they're waking up. <laughs> Not necessarily. They might Bro. do like a... No, no, no. You stab someone, they go, yo, what? <laughs> and they, I don't think that's a response. Yeah, they go, huh? And then they wake up. They uh, don't just go... I think... Yeah. Well, they might. If they, you get it, if you get the right spot. If you start, if, you know, if you start in the right spot, you might just like catch them like, so they stay asleep. And that's why I say I'm covering their eyes. I don't want to see them waking up. Just like... Why don't you want to see their eyes? That's the part that will get me. The eyes? Yeah. Because, like, all these people, like, I've never been hunting. I've never shot an animal. Right. But that's the part that would fuck me up. You think you could shoot an animal? I think I could. I think I could, too. I think I could, too. And I I love animals, dude. Dude, I'm a big animal fan, unless I need to fight them. But for some reason, I want to shoot one with a bow and arrow. Bow and arrow? Have you ever shot a bow and arrow? It's very difficult. I'm very good. Are you? I, dude, I'm like, I am very good. You want to know where I shot a bow and arrow? On your uh, grandfather's estate in Maine? No, and that's my uncle, and he had a cannon. Oh. Which, <laughs> not I don't a, really how legal come on, that not is. A, not a bow and arrow, yeah. a, a fucking full-on he, cannon. He shot, we were leaving, and he shot a cannon into the forest. I'm like, oh, this is not, the FBI will be here. Like, what are you doing? I don't think you can get in trouble for shooting a cannon. Guns, on the other hand. Well, he's got a bunch of those, too. Well, up in Maine, it's like fucking, it's so, it's like 99% woods. Yeah. They don't care what you shoot up there. That's the exact percentage, too. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually looking to do a, a, a trip to Acadia State Park, possibly. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I went. Did you? Yeah. Was it nice? It was beautiful. Yeah, we're thinking about doing it. Dude, we, eat a lo- the most lobster you've ever had in your life. I, I'm, I. You're going to eat it and oh. shut up. I will eat it. Yeah. But I'll say this. Lobster rolls. Crab? Yes. Lobster. Not that far. Take it easy. There's a big difference for me personally. But those are like, we're talking about the kings of the seafood game here. Well, they're not called king crab for nothing. No, kings and kings and lobsters. Well, I'm not a big lobster guy. Lobster is too like, like it's too, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, let me stop you there. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> Why not? What are you doing? Well, you know exactly what I mean. Chewy, but, chewy. But no, like. Use your words, babe. Okay. It takes too much effort to bite through lobster. Like, I want my animals, when they're dead, to just be like, I'm giving myself to you. Like, I don't want to have to put in a lot of effort. Like, I'm already, I already probably killed this thing. Or, no, hold on. No. Probably cooked it. Yeah. No, you didn't. You probably went to a restaurant and ordered lobster. But if I'm, if I'm paying the food for it, uh, money for it, am I having a stroke? I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> You're paying in food? You're trading with the restaurant? I don't want to, there to be a lot of like effort 
Outside of crab legs. Crab legs are fun because you just fucking crack them and destroy them. Frankie, there's way more effort putting in, like, that you have to put in to eat a crab leg. But then when I bite into a crab leg, it's like, like, it just fucking comes out. Right. Because it's so soft and plump and juicy and beautiful. Yeah, but by that point, you had to, like, axe it, crush it in a I'm nut cool. cracker. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And what, what do you do with a lobster? You just put it because in your you, mouth. Because it's, like, it's so metaphorical. It's, like, look, crabs have this, like, tough, spiky, spiny out, uh, exterior. But they come, and you flip them over, and you scrape, no, and you're good. No, no, no. Now you're talking a different type of crab, Joey. No, we're talking about lobster, baby. Okay, lobster, but, like, lobster, people, you ever see, in like, fucking, like, Miami, people take clubs to lobsters, and then when they get in side clubs yeah bro you've never seen that shit in like in a restaurant taking out a bat basically yes they take out little mallets and they just fucking bang 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 that seems unnecessary it's already dead you're damn right it is and then when you get the meat it's just like a tougher meat so it's like i don't want this i want to bite into it and i want it like melting in my mouth like crap okay but I'm not. I'm not fighting. I love crab. But like, I'm. I'm. I'm not fighting you on the. I on know. Like where they stand. Yeah. But I'm saying these two are at the top. I would say they're no. I would even go there. There is other fish that I like over lobster. Oosh fish. A fucking wonderful salmon. I don't like salmon. Salmon steak is so good. And then you. Oh, have you ever had Chilean sea bass? That's good too. I feel like I might have. You probably have because you you're rich. And I would say <laughs> there's definitely other, like, I actually might even, I might go as far as to say I like shrimp more. Don't make me come over there and hit you as hard That's as I can. That's a personal preference. I understand. Lobster is considered to be better. But then you have, like, you ever had, like, what, those, like that yellow goopy sea urchin? Not good. Pretty good. I just, I just had it for the first time not too long ago at a very good restaurant, and I was like, this is okay. Yeah, uh, uh, ahi tuna. Incredible. I mean, now we're getting to specifics here. Also, hate tuna. Well, no, I don't hate tuna. You hate I, tuna fish. I hate tuna fish. Like, tuna like, fish is disgusting. Like, like canned the, tuna fish. Yeah, what, what is that? By the way, I was walking my dog. There was just a, a can of it out. What are we doing? We're sh- feeding the strays. I have to admit, we definitely are sh- feeding the strays. That's the problem with this country. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the birds and the stray cats are better well-fed than the stray humans, which oh. are, a.k.a. the homeless. Well, yeah, because, it, we, you know. <laughs> that's we, a weird way to say it. That's a very stray. weird way to say it. Where, uh, where did a, this go? There's a stray. That's <laughs> fucked up. Just pointing at just, like, someone homeless. Look at that. Just stray. Now, they used to, that's how they describe, like, people, like, at, like, truck stops. If you're in a city, you're a homeless. But if you're at, like, a truck stop, you're a stray. Speaking of truck stops, mm-hmm. what is dogging? Is it a sex thing? Yeah. Oh, I, I I don't know. I would assume. I feel like it's only a British thing, but like, I don't know. Maybe we have talked about this before, but it's like. It a, sounds like a it's, British it's thing. It's a porn thing where it's like, oh, she went out dogging. Like, what does that, what does that mean? What I'm thinking and like, like, it's like truck stoppy. I didn't know about truck stoppy, but I'm thinking like, if I hear the term like, oh, they're dogging you, like, they're like really going to town on you, yeah, you like, know? Yeah. Like, they're eating the bajonjas. It is British. British slang for engaging in sexual acts in a public or semi public place. Or watching others do so. Why do they call it? Oh, because dogs fuck anywhere. They don't care. They're raw like Monday night. Maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. So it's just like public fucking dogging. That's weird. I get. I mean, that, what would we call it here? Fucking. I guess, but like PDA, but like not bro. PDA is making out. It's not fucking. I, you know, I I don't think I've ever. I've seen like. Homeless- I would rather see people making out. I mean, I would rather well, see people... Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I know no. where you were going with that. I would rather see people fucking than making out. No. Dude, making out is so intense. It it could be intense because there's different levels of intensity. Sex is sex. I'd rather see make out and be like, wow, look, at they they turned it up to 12. Having sex in public is like, wow, they like there's a lack of self-awareness with that. Yeah, but then you could just be like, okay, crazy people, they're nuts, you know, whatever. Unless you're like walking through the woods and then you go, oh, these people are cool. You know, like if it is a secluded area, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you're on a hike and you catch someone getting blown, you're like, good for them. Good for them. Those are good people. But if you're going down Third Avenue and you're like, these guys are getting just, sucked on a bench. I just wanted to go in and get a fucking smoothie. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to Pink Barry. You're getting a blowjob on the fucking <laughs> yeah. bench on Park Avenue. You guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Yeah, dude. you know. But if you catch someone in a hike, you're like, these people are cool. I love how we've just dis like we define like these socially acceptable norms as just like depending on where they are. Like as you're saying, like. Sex in public in a city? No, no. Yeah. Sex in public in the woods. Montana. The whole state of Montana. No one cares. Who do it literally at, at, in a people, church? People plan. Well, hold on. <laughs> people plan to go to like 
state parks on like crazy hikes to be like, and then we're gonna sneak off and I'm gonna diddle daddle. Yeah, I'm gonna. Start. You know, I'm gonna go. Why ahead. is that where you went first? I did. I know. I was like getting <laughs> yes, excited. No, no, no. No, I was getting excited. No, no, no. I know what you were getting excited. No, for. I was saying like you know. No, yes, you we're gonna have sex. This is excited. This is something else. I didn't do this. Yes, you no, did. No, I said yo, Josh, let's go. Josh, clip that. No, and clip that. No, Someone... I said. I said let's go. We're going to. No, hiking. no, no, no. You'll play. In full. I didn't do this. You did that. You I fucking. Did. <laughs> Boy, you know what? It makes sense why you go on all those trips with fucking Gio and Pete. Watch it. Yeah. I got excited. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you were excited for. Nah, you're changing for. the angles of my hands. They were here. They oh, were no, 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 no. The tape don't lie. The tape will show. Run it back. Run, run, the, run, run that the, shit back. Run the tape back. Oh, run, I want to see a fucking rewind in the episode. <laughs> yeah. And I want to see you doing it. I'm really not sure what I did. You, we know what you did. Yeah. But like people will plan to go to places just to have sex in wild places. Yeah. And then if they, but like never in like highly populated areas, which I guess that's the, that's the part that's upsetting. Well, you know, there's a higher chance of getting caught. Yes. Which is illegal. And then also you probably have to report that to your neighbors and stuff. If you fucking public, I think they were like, yo, you're a sex fan. Oh, you got to like knock on doors and be like, ding dong, guess what? I, you know, yeah. don't, don't get me started on the sex offender registry. I Honestly, understand why it's there, but it does the opposite. Well, it's also a weird isn't it weird to be like, I have to go around and tell everyone, like, I just want to let you guys know, like, I did this thing. Like, I get the idea behind it, but, like, it feels a little personal. I wouldn't want someone knocking on my door and be like, by the way, I, I'm a sex offender. I'd be like, cool, dude, just, like, don't come in. Well, that's the point, is that they're they're telling you in order to, like, just be like, listen, I live there. I, I'm a sex offender. The thing like, that's send weird me an email. Send is me that, an like, email. there are certain crimes that will get you on the sex offender registry that... Duh, I don't get. Like, I understand. Peeing in public. Peeing in public. I get that if you're, like, peeing on a school. For you know, children or on a person or on a person. If you're peeing on the public, that's I, different. I get that. Peeing in public, cool. cool. Peeing on the public, very not cool. But also peeing on the public and inside of the public, bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a big pee- problem. Also, you can't pee in front of the public. Yes, it needs to be on, it, in, or around the public. You have to pee privately in public. Yes, people. Jesus. Yes, um, obviously. But, <laughs> but like. I don't think like because the sex offender registry, bro, is like super like uh, tough to like. You can't live within certain places. You can't work with certain places. And like, I get it for people that have violent crimes against you know men, women, or children or the elderly. But like, I think one of them is like, yo, if you're caught as a sex worker, like there have been cases I recently heard on last week tonight where like people that engage in consensual sex work will get fucking sexually assaulted, reported, and then get arrested and thrown on the registry. Well, like prosties? Yeah. What, what, you got a cool name for them? No, I was just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was playful. It's just, uh, the, the, it, it doesn't necessarily make sense. I mean, I don't know, but what, what were we talking about? Oh, we've been all over the place. We started off know. with my friend with a big gun and a small wiener. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about fucking in the woods. We're talking about fucking in the woods. Yeah. If if you if you were to be like, because you've been hiking in different states and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Any of them that's like the first place you would do diddle daddle. Um, Colorado was nice. Colorado was just cold. It's, it wasn't cold. It was summer. I heard your orga- orgasm quicker there. Because of the, the uh, altitude. Because of the, al- the altitude. You come harder down. You come. There. I I can imagine it like drop like your, it drops in your balls quicker. Yeah. Well, you. you Get tired quicker too. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Every person that has ever been to Colorado, always for everything, the excuse is it's the altitude. Altitude. It's bro. the altitude. That out. Literally, when I went, that was the only thing that I kept saying. Or like, I would have one beer and be like, "Damn, the altitude. I'm fucked up." Bro, I knew someone that went to school in in Colorado, and they were like, "Oh, I'd get drunk off of three beers, like hard drunk off three beers." And I, I'd be like, "Why?" And they're like, "Altitude." The altitude. Man. I don't believe that though. Like, I guess it like. Makes sense, but for me, it didn't. Well, like, why not just lower the per- the alcohol percentage of the beers? Like a Coors Light over here is what, like five percent? Hey, hey, don't <laughs> even put that out there in the universe. All right. <laughs> uh, like but, Utah, is walking it around like, with three percent beers, I had to drink a thousand of them to well, feel a buzz. Well, you, it's because they, they they got the Mormons over there. They don't want you drunk. They don't want you marrying a single person. Wait, what? They don't want you to be drunk. They don't want you marrying just a single person. They want they, they want the, the polygamy. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do they do polygamy? Mormons? I'm pretty sure that's what they're... That's like their their shtick. I thought it was just like multiple wives. I think that's... And also, there's different levels I'm, of Mormon. I'm pretty sure that's what polygamy is defined as. Multiple partners. Yeah, but it's but I don't think the women can have multiple partners. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's I, not polygamy then. Yes. Oh. Polygamy is like we're a couple. You oh, get so, to have relationships. I get to have relationships. So it's a misogynist form of polygamy. 
That's massage warmer. Massage oligamy. Massage oligamy. Massage my ligaments. Mas- <laughs> fucking world yeah i don't know but anyway but so colorado is where you'd go do you'd, yeah, yeah yeah colorado you're was, not afraid of like a cougar like coming up on on you <laughs> um not yes. not like the, the person cougar yeah like because no, that would be nice that would be probably what you want a cougar an old woman. like a like a, a, f- a feral cat yeah no oh i meant like an older woman I'm saying you would want the older woman. Yeah, not a cat. Not a cat. Right. Is it hot in here? I don't know. What is going on? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I just grabbed my tits. I was like, yeah. You're jerking yourself off. Okay, I funny. didn't do that. Oh, uh, we did. We're going to run the tape. We're yeah. going to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, Colorado is really nice. Um, I'll tell you where that wouldn't happen. Fucking Utah, 105 degrees. Wasn't sick. No, no. I, I, I like the heat. I can't complain about that. Oh, you some will. of the, like my uh, when we would go to Vegas and it was like one ten, dry, not a cloud in the sky. I was like, this is my this is my jam. It, it. I mean, it's nice, but also you get a lot of breaks in Vegas. You, you know, you get air conditioned places. You, you do pool parties. With Utah, you're like, hey man, enjoy this twelve mile hike in the fucking hundred degree weather. Yeah, and isn't it like the 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 area to hike is like a walkway this big? No, it's, and you have to like you're it. like in a valley, for sure. Yes. We did the the subway hike, and it was like. What happens valley. if it rains when you're in the valley? Will you drown? Yeah, I mean, I I have said this like on a, a episode a long time ago because I almost died there. But they were like, if the guy told us like, yeah, uh, there's like a forty percent chance of rain today. If it rains, get to high ground. And I'm like, um. <laughs> I've been, like, what do we talk? What? Well, that's famously valleys are for water. Yeah, you know, like if you see like uh, dirt in the water, that means get to high ground now. Why? And I said, dude, how much time? Like, I was just like, I was getting scared, but I was already, I'm already, I fucking, we flew into Vegas, uh, we flew into Salt Lake, and then drove four hours to Zion, and it was like the middle of the night, so we slept in the car and then woke up, and I was like, I can't back out now. Yeah, we didn't even have an Airbnb at that point. Oh, you were just there, just living like a vagabond. Yeah, we were just sleeping in our car. And then we were just like, all right, we have to do this hike. And then the Airbnb will be ready after the hike. Was this before or after the... I didn't do that. Okay, okay. I didn't do that. I was just curious. I just wanted to know where you were. Who was driving the car? You were in the back seat. I have seat. no idea. Yeah, I was in the back seat. You're always, you always in the back seat. Me and Eric were in the back. I think Pete was in the front, and then maybe... I thought I thought you liked Pete behind you normally. Hell no. I would <laughs> never let that happen. I don't have the butt for that. Welcome back to the basement yard. Yeah, we're talking about uh, anal. Also, speaking of anal, I have something... Fucking uh, look at that! Put up in here. Fucking synergy, babe. Bang bang! This I was is... wait. I knew anal was gonna. You come knew up. anal would come up. It's the basement yard. Dude, butt fucking comes up at least one time. At least there. Uh, the FDA uh, just passed uh, a new passes new condom for anal sex. So there's a condom. Well, I don't even know if there's a new condom specifically like yo just for fucking asses. We're gonna I mean, put... I, there's got to be condoms like that, right? Well, how would they differ? They would just be, like, tougher? I don't know. I, that's what I'm asking. I think, like, I would assume they would want it... Oh, that's tough, because the butt is a wild place. You'd want it to be, like, clean, right? The like condom? a self-cleaning condom? Uh, like one that comes with, like, a little shower ring or something? No, wait, what? Okay, go on. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Um, but this, this article is hilarious. It just says, the first words, anal sex, period. Oh, and now they have our attention. While many are not yet comfortable with doing this, many out there are very open to the idea of having anal sex. This type of penetration occurs in the anus. Thanks for that clarification. This is one of my least favorite things about whether it be articles online or like recipes. Because, you know, we cook in my household, we cook a lot. And like, I'll go to look up a recipe and it'll start with a fucking novel. Yeah. And then I have to scroll 30 times just to get to see that it's a half teaspoon of garlic. Yeah. <laughs> this type of penetration occurs in the anus and is also deemed very pleasurable and rough. <laughs> is it deemed rough? I feel like you've got to be, like, nice to it. Well, they're not really doing a good job selling it. Yeah, you're not, you're not really selling it. Pleasurable and rough, even though it might pain very much at the beginning. They're, but they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Guys, take it easy on the bus. Listen, if you want to sell this condom... You say, you know, you could... Oh, pretend- my God. Euphoric. 
I think it's just like they pat they they can now like companies can now advertise as this is for anal sex. You know what that means though? That means that people are out here in abundance banging butts. So, so the FDA needs to run studies, right? Well, I think they they have like, you know, surveys that they send out. By the way, when people talk about surveys, who's taking a survey? People no one's sur- ever asked me to take a survey. Well, because no one cares about you. Why? I'm a I'm a demographic you're you're a demographic. I have to be one. You are in multiple demographics, possibly. That's what I'm saying. But I don't think like you are a well representative of the communities that you live in, because that's what you want to. When you poll people, <laughs> you want to take like what is going to be like the most representative, you know, part of that you know society community. And you, as a well-off white man that has multiple hats with his name on it. You don't strike me as the people that they want to find out what they think. Come on, you need to know at least uh, you throw. All one right, you of want us. me to run you a, sub, a survey right now? What you're gonna just? I'll like, just ask you some questions and we'll see how you rank. I have no basis of you know yeah, figuring what are you, out. Are you talking? Oh, this is about butt. Yeah, it'll be about butts. What? All right, Joey. Question one. Yeah. Butts. Thumb up. Thumbs down. In what regard? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Up. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's that's basically what they do is like they just ask questions and they and they're either anonymous or you know you have to report like fucking like demographic information about yourself. Yeah, but uh, apparently you're you're allowed to like you know whatever. But they they the FDA approved it and it, there's one called the one male condom that is manufactured in Boston, probably butt fucking capital of the world. Apparently, what? Uh, well, I made that part. Oh, up. fuck my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. It sounded like Peter Griffin. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. my age from that general area. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Pack your cad, my fucking stinky yard. <laughs> Better. My stinky yard. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't, disgusting. I don't think, I don't think highly of my butt. Yeah, your stinky yard though. Ah, it sucks. It sucks back there for me. You said it's stuck. You got something stuck back there? <laughs> no, I got nothing stuck back. Oh. I mean, maybe I do. As far as I know, I don't know. I feel like you should know. <laughs> As far as I know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you ever like land on something so hard and it goes right in your fucking head? Bro, I was talking about this the other day. <laughs> when we would be at the lake and we would jump into the water and like your butt would just be like open season and just chooch. Wait, what? Bro, you never jumped into the lake hard enough, like whether you're doing like a cannonball or something and just fucking you get, you just get a natural enema. What are you, jumping in the air while spreading your cheeks? No, I mean, sometimes, you know, when kids, like, jump like this, you know, or they jump, like, pencil dive. Like, you, you I'm not clenching my butt when I'm jumping, but, like, there have been times I've jumped in that water, and, and I know I'm not the only person out there. Don't look at me like I'm fucking crazy, Joe. No, because for me, it's my balls. It's not my ass. Oh, big ball Joe. No, it's not about having big balls. It's about jumping with my legs a little too apart. And then the, do your balls hit first? The no, the, my legs. How do you ju- are you jumping with your legs out like this, and your balls just fucking? <laughs> no, sometimes. No, you don't. You sit like you jump like you're like oh like you're doing a stunner to someone, you know? Oh, and then you land in the water, and then the fucking water just claps your ball. Listen to me, I'm very confident about my appendages. If I am sitting, my balls are not the first thing to touch anything. They're very they're they're in their little pocket. <sighs> yeah, but like. It really depends on the angle you hit. It's not every time. I could stunner someone into some water and not hurt my Why balls. is this only with stunnering, Joey? Why, how many like stunners st- are you handing out to people? Uh, a bunch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like jumping off a dock. Like, oh! Yeah, like well, those were the move. times. The best times that we used to have at the lake was when we were doing wrestling moves off the dock to each other. And it was always to David. Yeah, uh, those weren't the best times, though. The best times when we were just get like, absolutely... Like, oh, hand-boned. Yeah. <laughs> but no, dude, you, you're going to tell me you never jumped into a body of water or went down a water slide? What? Bro, one time a water slide really fucked, like legitimately broke your cherry. May have taken my virginity if I had, if I had a fucking, uh, what's that called? A herm? What's that? Hernia? No, like a butt? No, no. What's Hemorrhoid? It? No, what's the thing? What's the thing that like girls have that breaks? Uh, Hymen? Hymen. <laughs> Did I say Herman? You said Herman. You got a Herman. You got that my hermit crab oh, back there. Oh my god! I went down a water slide, broke my fucking oh, Herman. I in wish half. I didn't answer. I, I should have just walked you through that one. <laughs> yeah, broke my fucking Herman. If you had a hymen, you were just gonna bleed all over the place, bro. I went to splish splash. I went down this slide, and there must have been a little lip in the slide because there was a little piece where water wasn't going, and it was like a little like, how you doing? I came down, my asshole went right over it. Bow. Yeah, dude. broke my Herman. Yeah, well. <laughs> 
I got off that thing and I was like, legitimately, like you I need to go home. You were a different man. My coccyx was in trouble. Why are the like guys' butts named like the most like homoerotic stuff? Our coccyx. I think that's all humans, bud. I well, I know, but like. <laughs> And what, what else you got? It's just coccyx back then. <laughs> That's the one. Just to make the chat <laughs> right. I remember growing up, with, with like someone would like hurt their coccyx or growing up, we'd be like, yeah, it was their coccyx. We'd be like, oh, okay. You put your cock? That's six? You got you, a cock you behind you? six cocks. You cock in your butt? Oh, man. Coccyx? Uh-huh. You got six cocks. <laughs> uh, no, dude, it was jumping in the water for me. That's when like I, I got like some like, you know, chooch, like right in my butt. <sighs> yeah, dude. And like aggressive too, not... And, and, and like uh, an alarming because like the water you're in for the most part it's, it's cold you know what I mean so like you don't realize like yeah. how cold it is until it's inside your anal cavity well I usually clench but when I'm jumping into water and stuff I'm a free jumper I don't clench much your your hole's open I'm, I'm, I mean I'm, my hole's not open I mean it, uh, apparently if but I'm not gonna... protecting it because like realistically it's just lake water what's the worst that can happen I, I mean I don't know infection fish well, uh, bro, if, if if my asshole opens big enough to let a fish in, I got another problem. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I'm just picturing, like, when they're approving this condom, Fauci just being like, oh, that's good. That's a good butt condom. <laughs> Fauci, you think Fauci's... Yo, you ever think about that? Yeah. Fauci's got... I don't know what you're talking about, but He's yeah. gotten blown, and maybe he's banged a butt. I can't imagine this little fucking old... Keebler elf Bro, he's fucked. like isn't he from Brooklyn? Is if he? you're from Brooklyn, you've seen you you've been through it. You know what yeah, I mean? Like you can't be from Brooklyn and not have tried something wild like it's that. It's so weird to imagine old people like in their like slutty phases. You know who I think of like that? <laughs> Oddly enough, from the Bronx, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Bro, he's from the Bronx. Nah, dude, he's getting sucked and telling you about space and he's black just like, holes. This is an amazing once in a millennium occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just fucking the Big Bang is coming. Oh, yes. This you, is nice. You know, that's what I think. Anytime you talk, he's... I can feel my orgasm from my toes. <laughs> the orgasm... Up, the endocrine system is firing on all cylinders. <laughs> it's like, it's actually the... pronounced Uranus. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it has many moons. It's like, shut up, dude, and just I, take this blowjob. I don't think he knows much about the human body. He's like the space guy. Like, he's the one that's just like... Yeah, we don't know much about him either, because... Yeah, well, oh, he's from, I know he's from the Bronx, and you can't be from the Bronx unless you, you know... You've been... You, you tried a little bit. Yeah. Bronx people are wild to the me. guy smokes some hookah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> he was, he was like... A talk, the reason he loves space is because he went there the first time he was smoking hookah. <laughs> he was... If you're from the Bronx, you've smoked hookah in an alleyway. In, bro, in an alleyway. <laughs> in a deli. In a deli. In a deli, you've smoked hookah and then had a chopped cheese and a fucking Jamaican beef patty within an hour. God damn, I want a Jamaican beef patty. Oh, they're, so, they're so good. Um, all right. before <laughs> Where are we going, dude? Just did Neil deGrasse Tyson getting blown. I don't know what's happening to this show. The mysteries of the universe will be in your mouth in a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> the mystery. That's no, not a bad fucking impression of him. Um, but seriously, let's get to these ads. <laughs> let's get to these ads. For real, though, this time, guys. Uh, the first one we have here is BetterHelp. BetterHelp, online counseling. Uh, you could talk to a therapist. They'll get you set up in just under 48 hours. Um, and uh, it's great. You know, I think that everyone should talk to a therapist. It's good. Keeps your mental, uh, you know, ship shape. Um, if you like going to the gym, taking care of your body, this is what you want to do to take care of your, your mental health. And it's important. Um, over t- 2 million people have joined BetterHelp online therapy. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people... Uh, you know, are fucking with it, and I think it's great. I think everyone should be in therapy. I think it's, you know, important, and if you want to try it out, uh, you can go to betterhelp.com slash basement yard and get 10% off your first month. Uh, that's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash basement yard. You'll get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Give it a try. See how you like it. Um, you know, uh, in my experience, also, a lot of people are in, open to doing therapy but just don't know, like, how to start or where to begin, like, Try BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash Basement Yard. 10% off your first month. Uh, and next year we have HelloFresh. HelloFresh is amazing. Okay, especially for me now. We're trying to get into better shape. Summer's coming up. Shirts are coming off. So you want to look okay. 
Are we going to get ripped? Absolutely not. Definitely not. But, but <laughs> we're going to get a little better than this and just not worse. Or if we maintain, that's a good goal too. And guess what? You're going to have some delicious food from HelloFresh while you're doing it. Yeah, you're going to have delicious food. Uh, but HelloFresh is great because they come. you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, show up to your doorstep, and they give you a little, uh, how you doing, what's it called, recipe uh, to teach you how to make it. Uh, like I said, pre-portioned, so you don't have to like, they don't send you, uh, you know, 10 pounds of chicken or anything like that. You make, you know, for two or four people. Um, they have seasonal recipes, um, and it's great. You go on their site, you check it out. They have beef tenderloin and cheese fondue, miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen. Like, not just, you know, chicken and brown rice or anything like that, although I'm sure that's available. But they have really good recipes. Um, they teach you how to do it. It's also 72% cheaper than a restaurant uh, meal of the same quality. Uh, and yeah, you could save over $65 a month uh, when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. So go check it out. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Basement16 and use the code Basement16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Okay? So that is HelloFresh.com slash Basement16. Use the code Basement16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts okay so there you go folks go get some free meals and uh go get to cooking all right sorry my phone now is in my eyes oh i was gonna say uh something that we didn't think we were going to talk about today that's actually become a big topic on the internet is how we have just absolutely allowed this plant behind us to die uh yeah but people are a little upset about it i don't care much because they're plants um what's that about well it's yours it was. It was. It was. I honestly, I I don't know how this plant is green. I'm shocked. Like I think someone like messaged uh, the like left a comment on the video or something, and they were like, "Just so you know, that plant is very dead." Yeah, yeah. Please put it. Like someone said, put it back in the ground. I was like, "Why would I do that?" Yeah, what? If it's dead, I'm just gonna let it die more. What, what? Just let it. Like what? I can't do anything to help it now. Yeah, I guys, it, that one's on me. Oh, 100%. And like, <laughs> I have so my other plants are in my living room. All dead? No, they're not. Uh, except for like three. No, first of all, the money tree thriving. Yeah, thriving and happy. You're right. And then the uh, there's a plant. I don't know what it's called, but it's on my uh, what's it called? The fucking console, the TV console, thriving. Okay. The, I just got a brand new one from you, so that one's fine too. That's right. And then the old one I got from you, there was one leaf of it that would that died. That's all right. You just you know what you need to do. That guy wants a bigger pot, so you need to give him a bigger pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need, need to give him a bigger pot. Bigger, bigger pot. But yeah, you're you're not like people are very upset about that. They were like, why isn't Joey like watering this thing? Or like yeah. I think it's because it's on my side of the camera. People think it's more my issue. We're gonna blame you. Wait, that's okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, you don't care for plants very much. I actually. do care for plants. That's not true. What my 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 wife has the greenest of green thumbs and i've grown to love our plants we have names for them now and stuff like that there's gloria there's dumbo there's there's kazooie we have we have cute names for our plants you try to name one of my plants because it's kazooie well because your plant the one that i gave you not this one the one before was a baby of kazooie got it so it's 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 another kazooie yeah i wanted to name it banjo but i i don't know how i didn't get the uh, naming rights and it just went straight to kazooie you water any of these ever uh, no, Becca, I, I don't touch the inside plants because I will kill them. Mm -hmm. I do all the outside stuff, though. And we're thriving there, too, babe. Nice. You know, we're doing good. I'm getting my green thumb. You have a green thumb? No, you don't. No. You're getting your green thumb? What, yeah. Like a black belt? Yeah. <laughs> I need to be, it needs to be bestowed upon me by yeah. someone that knows what they're doing. How do you get a belt for... Karate. You're asking the wrong person. Do you have to, like, fight a boss? I think you need to be able, yeah, like, you need to be able to show that you can kick the right way. You have to You have to fight a boss. There are going to be so <laughs> many people in the comments like, these guys don't know what they're talking about. They don't, bro. Yeah, and that's what we're telling you. I haven't taken any sort of, like, Muay Thai or, you know. Not yet. You'll be there soon. I, I would be interested. The only reason why I haven't done Muay Thai or, or Jiu Jitsu is because of my knee. I never got surgery. So oh, like, yeah, if someone knee, grabbed my knee, it would just pop. You're, you're just yeah, you're, you're a fucking. Knee Anyone puts up. me in a fucking one knee bar, lock. Well, one knee bar, you're fucked. Knee bar, yeah, a knee bar. Well, works. I don't think you really need like don't then don't worry about that. Like do like capoeira so you can strengthen it. Like that would be the cool one to do. I don't even. Isn't that just like a dance? It's like dancing more. Like I was gonna say Mortal Kombat. Like dancing, uh, martial arts. Is it fighting? Yeah, 
it's like you can learn how to fight doing it, and like it would kind of be cool too. I could fight while dancing. I think you can, and I mean that's like Zumba. <laughs> Bro, Zumba is the most great. I'm so glad we got over Zumba as a phase, like as a collective society. Well, I don't. I think the the white women are still Zumboing. Home. Bro, when I was in college, they would have like Zumba nights at the gym. They would shut down the whole fucking gym. They go crazy, man. Bro, they would shut down the whole basketball court area, and they would have, like, 120 people show up to watch a white guy bounce for an hour. Bounce? Like, just fucking... Just, it's just so fucking... And you need to be, like, certified to do it? Yeah, bro. I'm so it's, glad It's fucking... I, 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 it's hard. Like, I've seen, like, some classes, and I'm like, this looks, like, bro, difficult. anything... But any, it's a little... Yeah. You just say it. Crazy. Yeah. Any repetitive cardiovascular like activity I hate repetitive bro cause that's what Zumba is it's just you don't stop moving the whole time right that's why like I stopped like hey, you ever do hot yoga I can tell you with so much confidence that there's 0% of me that wants to do it let me tell you one thing about hot yoga first it's hot yeah, it's like basically doing yoga in a sauna and second definitely yoga Awesome. <laughs> Very yoga. Like, and also, I'm not flexible. Bro, the only time I ever almost did hot yoga, my fucking adult uncle asked me if I wanted to go with him. Let me make this very clear. Well, your family also has married. Your cousins married each other, so yeah, you never yeah, know. We're all fucked up. Let me make something <laughs> you very clear. Your cousin too. Right? I no no no. <laughs> I didn't stop that. This is a running joke that is abhorrent, <laughs> and is only done poor for me. <laughs> done bad things for my reputation. My uncle Tio. Oh, I know. You yeah. know Uncle Tio. He wanted to do high yoga, bro. This is when he was living in Long Island City. He was uh, like, okay, bro, you were like thirteen. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, maybe younger, bro. He was like, yo, you want to come and do hot yoga with me? And I respectfully said no. Yeah. But inside, I was like, you fucking geek. Yeah. Why no, would no. I want to do this with a grown ass man around other adults? Yeah. Uh, that's heavy. That would be very... And also, like, not fun. Like, yoga for me... Sucks, bro. I can't do it. It's too slow. Remember yeah. when, like, P90X, everyone was like, yo, do it. It's gonna fucking give you ripped abs. Yeah, cha, cha. I couldn't do it. I did insanity. What's insanity? Isn't that the same thing? No. Oh. Dude, you never did insanity? No. I never did any of these DVD things. It's... I, I didn't spend money on it, thank God, because if I did, I'd be pissed. But... Why? It wasn't good? No, it, it was... Like I'm saying before, it was just repetitive cardiovascular movement for 40 minutes, nonstop. It's like jog in place and then do up downs and shit. You have this smoke show, Sean T, just screaming at you I as fucking see this guy. bro, hot, hot dude. What kind of Sean? S H A U N. S E A N. S E A N. The good, the good Sean. Sean what? Sean Connery. T. T. Just a T. Just Sean T. Sean. T a Sean T? No, 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 not a Sean T. Oh, Sean T. Sean T. Uh, what's it? Insanity? Yeah, Sean. Sean. The T. letter T. Yeah. Insanity. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he's just in a fucking elementary school gym with other fucking ripped people screaming at you. Come on, get up, do it. Damn, and you did it. And I did. I did it one time all the way through, and then started it last year and didn't. Oh, you st you did it like recently. I started. I tried to do it again recently during the pandemic. Oh no, bad idea. Didn't happen. No, 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 not at all. Right. It was just too much, <laughs> bro. You don't realize it's like fucking. You're jumping for forty minutes, like doing basketball jumps for forty minutes. The fuck is a basketball jump? Just fucking basketball shot, jump shot. Bomb. Oh, oh, he's just Bomb. like shoot it, shoot it. He's like and down and shoot and down and shoot and faster and shoot and down and shoot and it's like, dude, it's fucking. Wild, jeez! You're dripping sweat. Yeah, but it, it was misery. It does it. One time, I don't know why I did this, but I there's these things called what the fuck are they called? They're like military military burpees or something, and I forget what it, what it was, but it was like a burpee, but there was some sort of variation to it. And I decided one day in this apartment, uh, I was like, I'm gonna do a hundred of these, like right? in in one day, in one sitting. Just do a hundred burpees, bro. I don't think I can do that. I got to seventy five and stopped, and I was like, I like, dude, legitimately, like, especially back here, 
like the backs of wait why Dude. what is so what can you briefly explain for the viewers and this idiot right here what a military burpee is a, a, i don't i don't I know what exactly burpee. what it was yeah so it's essentially uh, imagine a burpee but it's like there's like a push-up involved oh uh, that shanti makes you do that shanti <laughs> a shanti makes, shanti you, do makes you do it <laughs> where it's like you have to go you, you just go from here and then you go down to the floor and then it's like a push-up and you push yourself up and then jump so all those push-ups yeah. And jumping down and like getting back up and like whatever and like, you know I'm not popping up around like after forty I'm not popping up, bro. I'm like on a knee like oh fuck. So I did seventy five, bro. I legitimately couldn't even get out of bed for like three days. First of all, super humble brag saying you did seventy five push ups in hey, a sitting. I'm just saying, um, bro. There was one part of insanity where it's up like you jump down back like a burpee, mountain climbers. In out, where you like jump and like pull like both your legs in yeah. out ten push ups. Excuse me. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Sean T is just ripped, oiled up, abs. Just like you can do it. I know you can. And if you can't, you can. And it's like, but but I. But can't. I, I definitely can't. But what if I? But what if I can't? And, then you can. Then, no, exactly. That's what he and like he wouldn't be doing it. He would just be walking around telling people they can do it. Nice. Not doing it himself. Dope. But. It's tight. Yeah, he probably had to do it at some point. You'll end up in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, much like this man. Synergy. That we're talking about. We pulled an article from the internet. Obviously, we had to talk about this because it involves a penis. Uh, man rushed to the hospital after shoving battery into his penis. <laughs> First of all, I think it was Iran. Not where you expect to hear this from. A man was rushed to the hospital after shoving a battery into his penis. The 49-year-old Iranian man ah. had to be treated by medics after he inserted an AA battery into his into his urethra. For anyone out there that's not a battery expert like me. You know what I mean? Hold on. Why didn't you say AA like a fucking foreigner? Just call it double A. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he inserted one AAA into the back. I was like, what's wrong with you? It's a double A battery. It's a double A battery. <laughs> Why did I say A? I don't know. Bro, a double A battery. For those, that, Joey's like, for those that are not experts, everyone knows what a fucking double A battery is. <laughs> yeah. So, just so people are aware, this is a is a double A. <laughs> so show, this is an A. They want to see the girth. <laughs> they want to see the girth of that boy. Look at that. Look, this is like a, putting a fucking sniper bullet. Bro, that's exactly what it is. You're shooting a 22 in your dick. A triple A, this would have been enough for me to be like, I need to go home. You know what I mean? Bro, I don't think I can get that into my pee hole. I couldn't get a fucking string into my pee hole, dude. Like, I got so many questions. This, though, dude, this is a big... This guy must have a massive fucking dong bro, hole. Bro, bro, well, he. I mean, if he's starting... He's not starting with batteries. You know he probably went Q-tip first. You know, he worked his way up to double A. You don't start at double A, Joe. That's like starting with a fist. You don't start with a fist. You start with one. You introduce a fingy or two. Yeah. And then you work your way up to fist. You don't start... He probably got through the triple A phase, but was just able to just ring it out. You know, like grab the bottom of his dick and just ring it out. Wait, what are you talking about? Like to get it out. The triple A. Oh. The double A is where he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> the AAA. The AAA. <laughs> it's not the AAA. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> Um, the battery was mo uh, removed. Oh, wait. It is understood that the battery had been in his penis for over a day until he went to the hospital. Bro, full day? Charged up dick? Th th that's my next question. It's like, what? Do you feel more energized because your body's just like... Duh, duh. There's a battery in here. There's a battery. I wh and what do you do for a whole day? Like, you, you're going food shopping with a battery like, in your Oh, my shit? God. Maybe it'll just come out. Yeah, what if you got a pee-pee? I would imagine that that was an issue. I would imagine that he didn't pee. Bro, could you imagine if that fucking reacts with the battery? That would be a bad time. Isn't that like battery acid and shit? I mean, yeah, if it explodes. Mm. The battery was removed um, without surgery after 24 hours, but the man was sent to the hospital again five months later as it had caused urinary blockage complications in his penis that required surgery. Shocked. I am shocked. That's a pun on a battery. Ah, uh, uh, ooh! Uh, accidental shocking uh, battery. Ah, uh, 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 that—that's an AA. Double A. 
I hate us. I hate us. Oh, we're so wild. Uh, in this case, the presence of a battery in the urethra for 24 hours caused severe and progressive damage to the urethra and corpus spongiosum. What's that? Corpus spongio. It sounds like a cool sponge. Wait, what the fuck? There's just a picture of Benedict Cumberbatch here. Oh, what? It was it Benedict Cumberbatch? Bro, what the fuck? Did Benny? Did Benny come? Yo, wait. How did you know about that Benedict Cumberbatch? Because. We Googled Ben to come back to his dick before. <laughs> we, we Googled a couple dicks. But why, did you, but why did we do that? Why did you say that? I saw a tweet of him talking about like... Bro, that's in this article. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you serious? It's like he wrote the shit and then... Hold on. This is actually funny. Hold on. I want to look up the corpus. We, all right. Spoiler alert. We looked up dicks before we got on here. Benedict Cumberbatch, Sebastian Stan, Bradley Cooper, normal guy things, heterosexual men. Looking up cocks. Hold yeah. on. Corpus spongiosa. Corpus spongiosum. Sounds cool. A mass of erectile tissue along the corpa cavernosa. Bro, there's caverns in my dick? Yeah, I mean, my shit's not that cavernous. You wanna go spelunking, baby? Yeah. <laughs> I got a fucking cave you could dive in. Uh... <laughs> Oh, snorted. Man. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Um, but yeah, then after that, the article just goes, what a ding dong. What, they got him. And then it says, in related news, 2022 is officially becoming the year of the penis. In Hollywood, it, at least. Is it? Uh, news to me. Expect more full frontal male nudity popping up in TV shows and movies. You can't show a cock on TV. Well, well I've, I've been watching uh, Pam and Tommy and Sebastian Stan playing Tommy Lee. Notorious yeah. for his big old thing. Yeah, his fat. Which I have said, from what I remember, was just more long than it was girthy. I could be wrong. It was long. In that show, he's got just a full a full loaded metal jacket. Yeah. Full metal jacket on him. Nice. And he's, I think in an interview, he said like, oh no, it's not a prosthetic. It's me. Women, women go nude in TV and movies. Why can't I? And it's like, bro. I mean, bro, I wouldn't. If I, if I had a fucking, you know... Uh, King Kong like that, you best believe I'd be more comfortable. But like, you know, I'm working with a, I'm working with like a, you know, moderate. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> but they said Benedict Cumberbatch, who bared all for 2021 Western psychological drama, The Power of the Dog. I heard about that. Wait, The Power of the Dog. Is that the, like just about dogs? No, no, no. That's a movie about like gay cowboys. Yeah, it got the power of the dog. It's about gay cowboys. It got nominated for an Oscar, and you didn't hear about this. Sam Elliott was like upset about it. This is about oh, a domineering rancher responds with mocking cruelty when his brother brings home a new wife and her son. No dogs. No, just your dogs. I thought it was a, like a I nice... when I first heard about this movie and people were talking about it, I thought it was the one with Channing Tatum where he's like the vet. That has like a service dog, and I was like, "Damn, this movie is heavy." Yeah, they're showing dicks. They're, in they're this? showing dicks in this movie, of, like road trip comedy about a guy and his service dog. <laughs> Why does it have to be a dick in this? There was too many dog movies that came out recently for me to like not confuse the two. <laughs> I know. You know, so the guy who directed Euphoria is doing all these movies. There's just dicks and tits and Bro, all. Bro, dicks and tits are out everywhere. Oh my god, let's get to these ads here. Oh, back back to the ads. <laughs> How we still have sponsors. God bless. They don't watch a show. Yeah, but you know, if you're if you're out there and you're a small business, you're gonna want to use stamps.com. Damn fellas. right. Yeah. Uh, for over 20 years, stamps.com has helped bring over a million businesses. Uh, they've saved time and money using stamps.com. Uh, they get you incredible discounts on shipping, up to 40% off UPS, uh, USPS shipping rates, and up to 76% off UPS. Uh, so again, you're saving time and money. All right. If you have a small business or you're, uh, you know, just shipping things out, you can do it at any time. It's just convenient. All you need is a computer and a printer. You can print your own postage. It's great. At any time you want. 3 a.m., you want to print it out? Go ahead. Print it out at your house. Um, so it's great. Uh, and there's no risk. Uh, and with the promo code BASEMENT, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in BASEMENT. That's stamps.com. The promo code is BASEMENT. All right? Stamps.com. Promo code is BASEMENT. Four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. Um, so go check it out, guys. You know what I'm saying? There you go. 40% off USPS, 76% off UPS. Do it. Save your time and your money with stamps.com. And uh, lastly, here we have current, which is the future of banking. Okay, it is great. Um, and they're going to be giving away money, but I'll get to that. But current members are now able to earn 4% uh, annual percentage yield 
uh, on savings, which is great. In a regular bank account, you're looking at less than 1%. So with current, uh, you can get 4% on your money with their uh, account. Uh, any, member, any member who signs up for a current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pod and enabling the interest feature. Uh, there are no fees for the feature or balance minimum requirements to access it. So if you put $100 or you put $1,000, you're still going to earn that 4%. Uh, so it's great. And also more money coming your way. Uh, we've partnered with Current to give away $1,000. Okay. Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners of our show. Um, all you have to do is download the Current app at current.com slash yard for a chance to win. Remember, that's current.com slash yard. Uh, winners will be awarded April 1st, so don't wait. All right. Uh, Current is a financial um, Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by Visa's debit card issued by Choice Financial Group, a member of FDIC. The current annual percentage yield is variable and may change at any time. Terms and conditions may apply. Okay? There you go. Go get that $250. Joe, that scared, that scared the shit out of me. Would you think it was a firecracker? I don't know, but I didn't expect you to clap. You're not a big clapping guy. That's a That's a wild... I don't Assumption. think I, I, I'm like that. That's just not where you would just clap in the middle of an episode. <clears throat> you, you, are you a good clapper? I am a unique clapper. We've discussed this quite at length. I have multiple types of clap. I know that. Um, I think I'm a great clapper, honestly. You know who's a good clapper? Who? Oh, boss. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, he's got big old fat hands. Yeah, he's got like booming like pop, 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 pop. He's got, yeah, he's got like a yeah with every clap. Like sometimes I'll... I'll give one of those, but then I'll go. Yeah, yeah, and I'll fuck it up. You know, that was a pretty good. That was a consistent. Those are, those are that good. was a consistent. You yeah. know, I, 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 I. It depends on what I'm clapping for. You know what I hate when people clap up here. Shut the fuck it up. It doesn't mean more to me that you're sending your clap to the oh. heavens. Oh, oh, oh! Like this is Bro, more polite. This is cool here. Oh, right here, wow. baby. Center chest. This is where I want my shit. That's this where you get the most fucking power. Yeah. You can't get the power up here. Bro, think about it. Think about it. Submarine pitchers, less power. You know what I'm saying? Throwing over the top, more power. Yeah. Over here, not enough power. You're here. You're, you're, here, you're gonna baby. you're gonna tear a rotator cuff. Yeah, you, you wanna be here, put your chest into it, put your back into it. Yeah. You know, I stick by my clapping techniques. I still have the best claps in the game. Yeah. You know. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is a really good one. Unrivaled. Yeah. I'm. I. You've never heard of a unique clapper until you met me. I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. Can you make up a clapper right now? I do the snap clap. That's a new one I've done. Oh, I can do that. Snap clap is a good one. Uh, uh, uh. You ever see those psychos that clap with one hand? What? They like have their fingers like like that, but they're like I can't even do this thing. I wish I could. How do you do that? You just let your finger go limp. Yeah. You know. Think about how small your dick is. And then just grab here. Hard? Not hard. Just and then you just snap your finger against it. <laughs> you gotta like hold hold these. Hold these. So oh, these all are all of this. Yeah. Hold these so these are like and then just have this finger snap. I suck, bro. I can do it with this hand, not this hand. But my fingers they get straight for some reason. Well, uh, could you do could you do the like the snap the snap clap? Oh yeah. Oh just like that's such a Robert Downey Jr. How'd move. you do that? That sounded fucking cool. <laughs> Do that again. You like that? That was a... That was, no, 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 hold on. Go ahead. Now you got me. I'm um, got performance that issues. That shit was tight. Performance anxiety. <laughs> nice, oh, right? Dude. I like that. That's, that's That sounds like a horse galloping. Yeah. Not that other shit. Not that the other... <laughs> <laughs> I thought mine was... Uh, the people were in the comments were like, yo, mine was better than yours. Yours was like... <laughs> you're sounding... <laughs> That doesn't. That's now, what their mouth sounds like. Now that like. I'm re -follow, like re like revisiting this, that doesn't sound like a horse galloping. No, nah, it does, bro. Mine did more. Nah, bro. You know. You haven't watched enough westerns. Uh, I. You're not wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> I haven't seen any either. But I don't think that qualifies you to being a better. I've seen horses. You've seen horses. I've watched them. Can you do an impression of a pig eating from a trough? 
I what? <laughs> Can you do any animal impressions? What are you doing? Honestly, I spent a lot of time in my car, so these are things. <laughs> these are things I think of. You're in your car, being like, "Hold on, time out! Don't speak! I need to know the answer to this question." You're in your car, and you're out loud going. <laughs> Like, I wonder what a pig sounds like eating from a trough, and then you do that. Go ahead. <laughs> you did that in your car by yourself. Listen, I, <laughs> I spent a lot of time in the car, and your mind goes places, Joey. You're going to tell me you've never thought about stuff when you're alone that you're just like, yo, I can't tell anyone this. The only difference, me, American hero, I tell people what I th- the, the dumb things I think about. American hero. I mean, yeah, we all like make like weird noises and like, Oop, for no reason. Or, yeah, like, boop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, Joey was oh, I have done. a video. I have a video of it. Do you? Well, no, I have it for the aftermath. But Frankie, we were all like doing, we were filming videos for Santa Gata Studios, and then Frankie out of nowhere just goes, Here you go. Like, everyone was like laughing, but I caught it. And I just looked at him, and I almost passed out from laughing. <laughs> because every now and then you need a little like, Herp. Yeah, Frankie just went, Here you go. And I was like, What the fuck are you doing? And then this is Frankie's. Again, I don't think I have Tourette's, by the way. This is Frankie's. Yeah, he doesn't think so. Here we go. This is Frankie's laugh. <laughs> That's that's me. Well, the coughing wasn't me, by the way. That was Ant. Yeah, no, but you were like whistling. I could, I don't know how. It was I like did a Mariah it. Carey note. Ooh. Yeah. Or an Ariana Grande. You know who has a good note too? Hmm. Steven Tyler. In crazy, he hits like a whistle note. Kind he, of. He, well, in Dream On, remember? Anytime I would sing that song at karaoke, I would try to do it and then instantly apologize. Oh God. <laughs> First time you did that, I thought I was gonna fucking. Yeah, karaoke. I was like, I hope he doesn't come back to our table. <laughs> oh, really? That bad? Yeah, it was funny. I miss the days of just being able to just black out drunk, scream, sing whatever you wanted at a bar, and people high-five you for it. Yeah. Because now I think people would be more critical. People would be like, oh, well, we got, you know, Mariah in the back here is going to go up and crush it. I hate that, though. When people who are, like, super good at singing, like, show up to karaoke, and then they do, like, four songs. They like, know what they know what they're fuck doing. Fuck off. They know what they're doing. My sister was like that, because my sister's a really good singer. Yeah, she can sing. But, like... She would not show up trying to show off. She would, you know, want to drink and hang out. Yeah. But, like, there are people that have been like, oh, my God, like, I, okay, oh no, okay, you know, yeah, and they're like, just fucking going for it. Put on Whitney Houston. It's like, all right, Damn, bitch, yo, God, damn. damn. You need it. The, the trick with karaoke is you need to sing bar bangers. Sing along songs. You know? I remember I once, I once went up there unprepared and very drunk to semi-charmed kind of life. Did not work out well. You don't know the words to that. I do know the words to it now. Oh. Sky was world. It was in the man. I wish I could get back there. Some place back there. Spawn to the place we use the man. Doing crystal meth. Leave you up until we make the no stop. Did you say doing crystal meth? That's what they say in the song. Oh. It's a song about being high. Cool. And doing crystal meth. Nice. You didn't know that, did you? Well, I've never done crystal meth. Me neither. Would you? Absolutely not. You're not there yet? No. You're 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 gonna approach drug Joe. No, I'm not. You're gonna be there soon. I'm terrified of drugs. I am too. Don't do them. Never have. Wakanda again? Well, no, that's Straight Edge. Oh, that's CM Punk, baby. Straight Edge superstar. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're not. <laughs> no, I am. I guess the alcohol. Yeah, the alcohol does it. You know. I'm not drinking for a month, by the way. Good for you. Yeah. You're waiting. Well, I'm not drinking until I go to Florida. Until you go to Florida, yeah. I. I don't, I don't, I don't drink a lot as it is, period, you know? So it's not like I, like, there's no, like, I'm avoiding it now. Like I do sometimes to just be like, to see if I can, but I don't drink enough to be like, I have to stop. Yeah. It's just like, so, you know what it is? Like, it's so, uh, it's such a passive thing that it just adds up. And like, I sometimes like meet people like on weekdays, like, oh, like, for like a meeting or something. But if it's like after five o'clock, it's like, let's just go grab a bite to eat or let's go just grab a beer or something. And then it's like, oh, well, I had these four drinks in two days because of, I went out to just talk to someone or some shit. And then out on the weekend, you go out and you like, sometimes you get fucking drunk and you drink a bunch and you're like, God damn it. See, I'm the type that, you know, I don't have an alcohol problem and I know what I'm going to say sounds like I do. 
But like, if I'm going to drink, I want to go for it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like casually, like having a glass of wine because then I just get sleepy. Like if I'm going to drink, fucking put the boosters on my back and send me to the moon because I, I'm, I'm ready. I, uh, I don't really drink like that. Like I like really enjoy. You got pretty drunk. Your, uh, were you drunk your birthday dinner? No, I mean, yeah, it was a lot of wine. I, wine is cool though, because I, I'm like, okay. The next day. Cause I can never drink like too much wine. I drink enough that it'll fuck me up. Really? Yeah. But then I wake up and I'm like, Oh, like I could drink a bottle of wine and be fucking like drunk. And then wake up like fine. I don't think I can. Like I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think. I it's don't. Four glasses. I think. We'll get you drunk. I, well, I think to get to a point oh eight, it's one twelve ounce or like eight ounce glass of wine. Well, I'll definitely be bro. Yeah. Like it'll fucking. I don't think I can't honestly think of times I've been wine drunk. Oh. I don't drink a lot of wine though. That's a thing, bro. The beginning of this pandemic, I was slamming red wine yeah i remember i remember insane i was slamming good old miller lattes baby were you that's the way to go we just went to the store and bought so much red wine i didn't have a ounce of white wine in 2020 just red i don't i don't like white wine the only white i like is a dry chardonnay i like i enjoy them they're a lot sweeter but you're supposed to drink them with like fish or something well, yeah, the color of your meats is, or sauces are supposed to match the color of your wine. All right. Red oh. meats, red sausage, red uh, sausage. Sauces. <laughs> I guess sausage, too. Red, red sausage. Red wine, and then fish or, like, butter or cream sauces or white wine. Oh. You didn't know that. No, I didn't. Damn, I fucking taught you. And you know... And, I know nothing about wine. Yeah, me neither. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. I know that. When I order wine, I literally just, like... I, Bro, I told you about... complete guess. It's a price thing, is honestly. Is he farting? No, that's my foot. Oh. Um, it's a price <laughs> party. It's a price thing. If I look and I'm like, okay, this isn't the cheapest bottle, but it isn't one of the expensive ones, so it might be kind of good because it's right here. I full on. I will be the first to admit this. I buy on the label. If I see a cool label and like a halfway decent price bottle of wine, I'm like, I'm fucking getting that. Yeah. Because all the expensive bottles have serious labels. You know, like they don't have like cool labels with like a lion on it or like some neon fucking you know panther. Like, all the expensive wines, it'll just be a white label that says, like, the name, the grape, and the fucking age. And it's like, dude, be cool, you know? Like, I want to see something fun. Show me some crayons or something, and then I'm all there. Some crayons. You know? Uh, but, no, 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 no. I, 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 Greg's I, dad made wine, and it was pretty good. Bro, and... No, the, the label was just black. And then it had a red stormtrooper's face on That's it. That's fire, dude. I was like, this is dope. Definitely probably got into a little bit of trouble with Disney for that one. He doesn't sell it. Well, uh, but Ange, Big Ange's grandfather made fucking, she brought like big ass bottles of wine. Delicious. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. I also would not be able to tell the difference between any sort of wine. Bro, these people that like taste wine, they're like... This is a 2015 Zavellier from the, you know, it's like the sommeliers, they call them. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm getting vanilla. Are you getting vanilla? I was like, I'm getting drunk. Shut the fuck up. It's like, I'm not getting anything. I do. I'm getting more of this. I have to admit, there are like teas that I've tasted where I can I can do that where I can be like there's a little bit of fucking you know like juniper berry and like cinnamon in here. Sure. But like people when they're when they're taking when they're sipping wine and they're like. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting spiked, I'm getting spiced peaches, and it's like, bro, they're grapes, man. <laughs> Just say that they're fucking grapes. You don't need to sit here and tell me that you're drinking wet wood, wet wood. Yeah, tree bark. I'm getting tree bark. Dude, it makes absolutely no sense this to one's me. It's dirty. Yeah, I always feel weird when like I'm doing like the taste test or whatever, bro. This wine could be corked, tastes like shit, and I'd be like. Fantastic. We'll take it. Yes. I already ordered it. You already came to the table. What do you think? I'm going to send this back? No, I'm not sending it back. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I might get two. Yeah. It's just, it doesn't, like these people that like, I do it to make it look like I know what I'm doing. I, I do it because it's like a formal. I, and a lot of the times it really pains me not to just be like, I just fucking pour it. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I don't know, man. We're not, I'm not in any position to send back wine. No. If it comes to the table, I am going to drink it. Yeah. Uh, and if I don't, it's because there's something really wrong with it. Like, it's too sweet. That's the only time I won't drink wine, if it's too, too sweet. If they bring it, though, and it's too sweet, you go, oh, no. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I, I the would... only way that I would send wine and be like, yo, chill. If there's, like, a if, mouse in it? If, yeah. If it was, like, a cockroach just, like, yeah. in my shit. I'd be like, 
Well, sir. Well, some people would like that too. They'd be like, oh, this is the fucking. I also would look up and be like, is that? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. This cool. is a Malagasy hissing variety. Yeah. And it's like, oh, <laughs> shit. I don't know. They're just getting crazy with this. Yeah, bro. Give me a cool label and a decent, you know, $20 bottle of wine. I'm there. I don't need anything nuts. Yeah. You know, I won't get like the, you know, like the bottom shelf, like, you know, like 10, like $5 for a fucking handle. Yeah, no. And I won't get bagged wine. I'm a man of class. No Franz yet for you? No Franz. I'm not slapping the bag anymore. Yeah, no. I've never done that. Honestly. Never played that game? No. I'm Chugging I, wine sounds negative fun to me. Well, because it's not wine. It's juice. Oh. You're chugging hard juice. Hard juice. That's basically what it is. I remember I did it the first time, I, like, my, I think my freshman year. And they were like, come slap the bag. And I fucking cocked back and smacked this thing out of this kid's hand. And they're like, you're not supposed You're supposed to smack it and drink it. I was like, oh, I, I fucking know. <laughs> You're an idiot. Um, but yeah, man, that's all. That's all we have for today. Oh, there's some stuff we didn't get to. Guess what? Maybe we'll do it next week. Maybe we'll do it. next Maybe week. we'll do it next week. We have some stuff. Tune in. You know where you could also tune in? Patreon. Patreon.com/slash the basement yard. What you could do is you could sign up today, and not only do you get these weekly episodes for that first tier a week in advance, you get exclusive content, baby. That's right. End your week every Friday morning with the Basement Yard. Start your week with the boys. End your week with the boys. Is there any better way? Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. We set a record that if we get to 10,000 patrons, I am uh, begrudgingly going to get a full Brazilian wax, which uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm, it's going to go good. I'm going to wear a thong for it, right? Like they don't get to see my balls. What are you talking about? They got to wax them. Why are they waxing my balls? Bro, they're waxing. From the waist Bro, down. Bro, so you're going to see my dick and balls? Yeah. All right. No, I'm going to see your fucking asshole too. That one... I'm not going to look at it. That one is a punishment. I'm going to just like look at your face. Just look at my face when my dick and balls are out. I'm shocked. Oh my God. I didn't know that. I thought like I wear like a thong and they go around it. No, they get all the hair. Bro, what if they pull my balls out of their socket? <laughs> That's a risk you have to take. No, it's not. I didn't know this. I don't know if they wax your balls. Oh, okay. I think they just wax like, you know, your pips and your yutch and your hole. Well, if we get to 10,000 patrons, uh, I will be doing that. And Joey will be there uh, holding my hand literally and figuratively through the whole process. So it will be great. Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. And then you can find me at uh, FAlvarez8085 on Twitter and then the Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. Uh, yeah, go check it out. Yeah. And you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato or go follow the show on TikTok and Instagram at the basement yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Bye.